Good morning Destiny 2 players and it's moth time! New season, new exotics, new burger that's actually the old burger but shinier. I am Blade Burger, your local Google give me R34 lamps please kind of guy, and welcome to the video. In this video it's all about moths, eating them, shooting them, and more. If you like the video, tie thy likes to me so I may become the god of YouTube or something like that. Godhood is weird man, let's get into the video. To start off, this build revolves around the new seasonal exotic, the ex Dearest, and the new Moth Keeper Wraps Hunter Gauntlets. We hear a Blade Burger, meaning I hear a Blade Burger love our gauntlets. Not hiring editors, we run solo here. The ex Dearest is an exotic special grenade launcher. It has no magazine, so it fires continuously without loading. On a kill, the weapon generates a moth that seeks out and explodes on enemies. It also gains rate of fire as you deal or take damage. The Moth Keeper's Wraps turns a grenade into a Moth Grenade, creating two loyal moths. If the grenade lands near allies, a moth will seek them out and give a void overshield. If it lands near enemies, it seeks them out and explodes in an arc explosion that also blinds when it damages. It also gives an additional grenade charge, but it doesn't say that in the exotic description. Why this exotic pairing? It's pretty simple. The ex makes one moth normally, but when combined with the Moth Keepers, it makes one Explodey Moth and one Overshield Moth on kill. Like how Osteo's Trigger and Aquatic Grips buff each other, these two exotics do as well. For class, I tested almost every class in the game except Solar, because I already have too many Solar builds. Or not enough, as some say. An interesting subclass to try it was Strand, as you can get three of these Moth Grenades with the Moth Keepers. When testing it, it just didn't work well at all. Testing Void worked worse, and Stasis is just unusable in the current sandbox, with the exception of Renewal Grass, so I landed on Arc. Another thing to note about this pairing, the moths generated by either of the exotics count as grenade kills, but only for the Firepower mod. Not for Ashes to Assets, and not for any grenade damage mods, just Firepower. Why? I have no idea, it just does that. So with all these notes that I'm filling your smooth brain with, let's get to the class. For class, we're on Arc Hunter. For fragments and aspects, literally do whatever you want. This build relies heavily on mods to make it work, not aspects or fragments. An important note is that the mods do not trigger spark a shock where a grenade hits jolt enemies. I test it a lot. Unless you actually doink an enemy with the grenade directly, it doesn't jolt. So anything with jolt is just out the window. The fragments I chose though are Spark of Haste, which gives stat bumps when sprinting, Spark of Amplitude, rapid kills while amplified makes an aura power, Spark of Discharge, arc weapon kills have a chance to make an ionic trace, and Spark of Recharge, when critically wounded your grenade and melee recharge faster. A bunch of utility fragments. Let's move to the next section, weapons and stats. For weapons, Exterius of course, then use whatever. I'm personally taking advantage of the dual strand arc siphon and using a strand primary along Exterius. The new hand cannon is good, or so I hear. For stats, go for 100 discipline to help your grenade recharge. It seems to be on an independent timer for recharge, separate from any actual grenade that you choose recharge. Otherwise, beam me and run H strength and put points into mobility and resilience. I should get artifice armor, but eh, too much work. Now to the best part, the mods. On Helmet, Special Ammo Finder, and Scout. You'll need a lot of Special Ammo for the x so this helps us find Special Weapon Ammo on kills. Special Ammo Scout helps our allies too by giving them Special Ammo whenever our finder finds them. We also have the Dual Strand Arc Siphon from the Artifact. Make it orb on rapid kills with those damage types. On Arms, Double Grenade Kickstart. When you throw a grenade, gain grenade energy. If you have an armor charge, gain from picking up an armor power, you consume said charges to gain extra energy, up to a max of 50% energy back. We also have the aforementioned firepower, where grenade or moth kills makes an armor power. On chest piece, harmonic reserves, giving more ammo to arc weapon reserves. We also have charged up, giving us an additional armor charge from 3 to 4, a common thing for me. On legs, double innervation, gain grenade energy when you pick up an armor power. We also have Arc Scavenger, giving us more ammo for arc weapons whenever we collect an ammo break. On class item, do I even need to say what's on here? You know what's here. Double Bomber, where activating our class ability gives grenade energy. We also have Reaper, my favorite mod, where the next weapon kill after using our class ability makes an armor power. There's the mods and here's the overview of them. Screenshot to your delight, study the mods, yell at me in the comments on how my fashion is amazing, and now, let's get to the synergies. Of course, the main synergy here is the ex Dearest and the Moth Keeper's Wraps. Yeet some big fucking moths. This build does follow along the lines of a usual grenade build. Fire powerful orbs that feed into grenade kickstart, bomber to get more grenade energy, and mods to help them both out. 
if there's no enemies, the 100 discipline is a real kicker to get your moth nades back in time for more killing. While not as spammy as something like my Skip Grenade, Trip Mine, Ash Awake, or Osmiomancy builds, this build can yeet quite a number of grenades and make a swarm of monsters with a few exterior shots. It's a pretty fun build, try it out for yourself today. Thank you all for watching, stay tuned for more, join my discord, become a member, see you all in the next one, Blade Burger out.